Alright, oh, where are we going in here? Gonna face Erica? Casino first, probably. Erica? I'm the store manager. Don't you think perfume is the most exqu uh, exquisite, elegant aroma in the world? No. No. You think perfume is a stinky ripoff? P for petty, uh, P for pretty, E for elegance, R for radiant, F for fun, U for your bane, M for mysterious, E for energy, and that spells perfume. And I don't care. If you object to perfume, uh, perfume so much, then you should just leave. I plan to. If you hate perfume so much, then... Okay then. Fuck off. I'm pretty sure perfume's biggest clientele is not men anyway, so I don't really care. This gym doesn't allow anyone inside who says the perfume is a stinky ripoff. So you see, young man, you're the stink- How about I just use my Pikachu, I zap you, I zap Erica, I steal a badge, and I don't care. Hey, pest over here. Hey, kid. Bet they wouldn't let you into that gym today. Even though you're a pest, we'll share you heading to that gym. You just need a fashion makeover. Ready? One, two, three. Dress up. Bing, bang, bong. Ta-da! Great, uh, great wig. Not even your own mother would recognize you in this. Hey, James. Bet you have a fashion, bet you have a talent for this, don't you, James? Talk about dressing for success. That get up will get you to the gym easy. Let's go! Works for me. I don't like them anyway. Good evening. We'd like to enroll our daughter, Ashley, in your training classes. That's wonderful. You like perfume, I'm sure. Then I'm sure you'll be accepted. Please, come in. Like, I'll gladly work with Team Rocket to fuck you all over. I don't care. I don't like any of you. Oh, so you ready for some extreme training? As Erica's pupils, we won't go easy on you. Oh, I don't want you to. It seems that I've been pawned. Uh -huh. This is one of those gyms that pissed me off in the anime, too. It's like one of the first gym leaders that refused to do their jobs. Because of a personal vendetta. Get away for this. I don't want to smell you. Stinky! Healing up. Okay, you, madam. Erica's taught me everything I know, and clearly know nothing. I need more education. I won't deny that. Alright, you. I'm one of Erica's top trainers, let's rumble. Whatever. You're tough, you think? Alright, and you. You just entered the training program here and you want to challenge me? For a little girl, you've certainly got Mucho's Huefo... Huefos? Huefos Grande, aka Big Nuts. Big Balls. I lost? Yep. Okay, Erica, let's do this. Excuse me, little girl, but your hair seems crooked. Wait a minute. You're not a little girl at all. That's a wig! Dun dun da. You're that boy who hates perfume. You wanna challenge me? Very well, I accept your challenge. It's my duty to league rules. Yet apparently- You wouldn't let me in the gym, though. Which seems to break the league rules. Which is my issue. I won't lose because I have something you don't. Empathy with your Pokemon. Without it, you'll never become a great trainer like me. I'm not gonna give you a lesson in empathy. I don't want empathy. I wanna kill things. I want power. Okay. Tang- oh, level 35. That could be an issue. Well, uh, yeah. Gym lead is a bit higher level than I thought it'd be. Not gonna lie. Okay, kill it with wing attack. What other Pokemon does she have? Because I may need to be right back and level up a bit more if it's too high. Okay, 32. That's- that's fine. That's not too bad. Plus, Tangle is the only real super high defense she has. Yeah, that's fine. I can handle that. Acid attack. Mm hmm. Boop. And I assume you have Vile Plume left, too. Use you, uh, or Gloom. I think Gloom is your signature. Nice, nice. I can't use Chame uh, Chameleon because he doesn't like to listen to me. I, I don't think. Chameleon really listens to me until probably like the orange archipelago when he gets frozen solid, so... And Charizard, I mean. So I'm not gonna be able to really use him for a long-ass time, I think. Which is a shame, because I want to use him! And I'm just gonna zap you, see how that goes. Zappy zappy. Hopefully at least half. So I hope. Not terrible. Not great. You're gonna do a lot of damage to me, aren't you? Oh god, I'll be right back. Alright, killed it. Boom. It took a while, took a lot of bites and flinching, but I did it. Th question mark? Like, I had a flint, uh, bite flincher, basically. But I did, I did win. Thrilling, but what's that smell? 
Your Pokemon skills are stinking up the gym even worse than Gloom. Thanks for helping us sneak into the gym so we could steal the secret performance formula, uh, formula. And now Team Rocket's going to go out with a bang. The blast balls detonated Team Rocket's blasting off again. Ha ha! Quick, everyone, get out, the whole gym's on an inferno! Ah, uh, rescue the Gloom. We gotta be a good guy. Cause that's Ash. Come on, you smelly little plant. Looks terribly fl uh, frightened, yet it's not releasing its intense odor. We must trust you. Fine. Rush for the exit. Go! Don't touch the fire. Okay, Erica. Here's your damn Pokemon. You saved Gloom! Thank you, Ash. With a deep gratitude, I present to you this rainbow badge. I assume I probably couldn't leave the gym unless I did that. The rainbow badge will make Pokemon level 50 obey you. Please also take this with you. I assume that's Giga Drain? Yep. Well, that's, that's Bulbasaur, I suppose. Wouldn't you agree that it's a very wonderful move? I suppose so. Bulbasaur will, will, will enjoy that. So now that Erica likes me, can I buy your shit now? I assume I don't want it, but you never know. Yeah, I don't want that. This is the building for the Pokemon Lovers Club. Only official members are allowed in. So is it filled with Gardevoir and Machokes? Uh, hey, Granny. Tell me, do you love Pokemon? Sure. I mean, really love them. Do you just adore lovely, ugly Pokemon? You talking about God of War? I mean, would you give your very life for a wonderful, sweet, adorable Pokemon? God of War? Well then, I guess I'll make you an honorary member of the Pokemon Lovers Club. God of War. Hey. I'm Pokemon the most wonderful creature in the world. Don't answer that. Anyone who says no would get a, quite the slap from me. You slap me, old man, I'll punch you. Matata. Alright then. We're having a round table regarding the awesomeness of Pokemon. Come to join, uh, care to join in? Nope. Hey, Copper. Is there anything going on up here? Mr. Fuji? Nah. There's a mansion on the roof of the club. The members go there to relax and get away from the pressures of urban lo Oh, okay, this is the... Hypno is gonna be up there. Hypno? Hey, uh, are you kids, the kids who think you're Pokemon? Yep. Alright, show me the Hypno. Are you a new member? So you're an honorary member of the Pokemon Lovers Club. Then you should know that Hypno is our favorite Pokemon. Living our lives in the city can be very stressful and all that, and all the members suffer from amnesia. Oh, insomnia, I mean. We've come to rely on Hypno's power to help us get to sleep at night. Sleepy Pokemon? You, you don't think Hypno's hypnotic powers are affecting Pokemon, do you? Missing children who think they're Pokemon? Maybe there's a side effect to Hypno's abilities we aren't aware of. That's affecting the children. Somehow we've accidentally caused a terrible situation. Say, I know. If we use Drowsy to cure the children, Drowsy can use Dreamy to snap the children out of their dreams. Go ahead and take that Drowsy and help the children. Okay, I, I, I'll probably need a slot, won't I? Sure. Oh boy, I got a Pokemon Lovers Club Drowsy. Drowsy was using Dreamy to counter the Hypnosis attack of the Hypno. How would... How would that counter it? Those two attacks go together. Like you put them to sleep and then you use Dream Eater. The children snapped out of hypnosis and returned home to their parents. You did it! The children are completely cured of the hypnosis. Thank you so much for your trouble. As a reward, let me give you something. The twisted spoon! I have a psychic type Pokemon. The spoon got all twisted up when Hypno's psychic attack hit it. I think there's something else special about it. I'll just be taking Drowsy back now. Now back to the Pokemon Lovers Club. Okay. You, uh, you do you. Okay, that dude gave me leftovers. I mean, it's not much, but I don't mind leftovers. Celadon Theater. Hmm. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, exit? Okay, well that did nothing. That was nothing at all. Hey, uh, my Arnold's returned. I'm so happy. Yay. Uh, well, this, this person sells uh, key items, apparently. <laughs> One million dollars, though. I don't... Can you get that much money in the game? I don't... I don't know. Huh. Okay, what's going on here? Hey. Just relax, release all your tensions. Done! Oh, Chanty darling. Don't you look precious. Thanks, Susie. See you soon. May I help you? Susie? Susie, my name's... Uh, Susie, my name's Brock. Nice to meet you, Susie. I want to breed like you. I mean, I, I want to be a breeder like you. No, Brock, I think you want to breed like her. Say what you mean, buddy, say what you mean. 
I'm really trying to say- What I'm really trying to say, Susie, is... I'm begging you to accept me as your breeding partner. Pause for applause. I don't have pupils, Brock. Breeding takes up all my time. That's what she said. But I haven't had it as, I haven't had as many customers since that new salon opened. If you ask me, its owners are up to no good in the neighborhood. If you think they're up to no good, then I'll investigate them. That's the least I could do for my idol. Your breeding idol. All right, then I guess I'll go help Brock out. Guess they are following me around. I just don't see them. Okay, Team Rocket, what are you up to over here? Uh, Rockets? What a wonderful salon. My Pokemon is simply stunning, all dolled up in jewelry and makeup. Where the hell are the Rockets? My Slowpoke will be the bell of the ball. Oh, maybe I gotta talk to her still. Okay, let, let's try this again. I'm worried about what the trouble Brock might be in getting in, uh, might be getting into investigating salon Roque, uh, Roque? Okay? Okay? What is that? Whatever. Will you go see if things all right? All right. Now maybe they'll appear. Okay, Team Rocket. Team Rocket. Oh, okay, this is open now. Rocket hideout. So the owners of Salon Roque are t really Team Rocket. Shocking. Butt out, Chwarp. Ash, take out Team Rocket if you could. If you could beat me in battle, you can beat them. Oh, I've beaten them like, what, six times already? I know I can beat them. <laughs> you don't gotta tell me that, Brock. I, I think Charmander's still in front, isn't he? Uh, yeah, that's a problem. Well, uh, yeah. I can't really use you. I'd like to use you, but you constantly don't want to obey me. And by not obey me, I don't... He doesn't even attack. He just slopes around and does not not even make an attack. Which is fairly useless to me. Like, I wouldn't care if he wouldn't obey me if he, if he just used at least a random attack. But nope. Doesn't even do that. Totally useless. Which well, sucks, because he's my favorite. And I want to use him. Okay, sound out the coughing. It's going to die just as easy. Let's go. Coughing, let's go. Bring it out. And now you die. Boom, shakalak. You can't poison me, at least. That's a plus of being paralyzed. God damn it, that's a negative being paralyzed. You want to hit it, Pikachu? Pikachu. Pikachu. Can you hit it now, please? Pikachu, my Pikachu. Three times. Three times, Pikachu. Three times. Can we not have four? Oh, fuck you, mouse. There we go. Finally dead. You let me down a lot, Pikachu. Don't do that again, please. Jesus Christ. It's a fashion disaster. You would know. Why not through yet? Hand over Pikachu. No. My Volpix and I will take care of them. Time to give you a lesson in breeding. No comment. If you all worry about, if all you worry about is your Pokemon's cute, uh, out of beauty, its inner strength will be lost. A Volpix, wrapped in a fire spin. The shittiest fire attack of them all. I think it's even weaker than Ember, to be honest. Fire spin to ascent Team Rocket flying. We're blasting off again. Brock, I'm very impressed with your breeding skills. So many jokes. I'll be grateful if you took care of my Vulpix for me. Right now, I believe you could do a better job of raising it than I could. Thank you, Susie. I'll take good care of it. We both have journeys ahead of us, Brock. Thank you for your help. Please take this as my thanks. A blue scarf. Oh boy. Good luck, Ash. Brock. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Ash. Maybe once we're both gotten strong, we battle again. Good luck, Ash. Enjoy your breeding. Enjoy your breeding. Oh, wait, it's Misty. Hey, Misty. This is such a strange Psyduck. I only came here on my journey to become a better water Pokemon trainer. I dropped the Pokeball. Hey, wait, Psyduck. Don't touch that Pokeball. Oh, no. Psyduck accidentally caught itself in my Pokeball. Now I've got a Psyduck-sized headache. Haha. <laughs> Cute. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else left in this city, so let's head this way. Evie, can I, can I get that? I don't think I have Rock Climb, though. Hey, Hitmonchan. It's a wild Hitmonchan. Let's try and catch it? Why not? Alright, well, you can't capture it, because you, you know you know why. It's it's the anime thing. Oh, we'll kill it, and... Oh, Ice Punch, that's not good. That's probably gonna kill me. 
Oh, we're not. Yay. Kill it. Yay. Okay, then. Well, that's that. So, a little event thing happening now. Just, just glide on in, don't walk. How many times did I tell you? Don't drop your guard. Keep your gloves up, Hitmonchan, cause fighting smart hurts less than fighting stupid. I declare Hitmonchan the winner of this fight. I kicked his ass, why is he the winner? I'm out here training my Hitmonchan to compete in the P1 Grand Prix. Any fighting type Pokemon trainer worth his salt will be there in the tournament. Daddy! I'm not calling you Daddy. Rebecca? Daddy, please quit the Pokemon training and come home with me. I won't come home until I become the champion of the Grand Prix. But Daddy... I'll be in the gym taking my challenges. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. I'm really sorry about my father. Can I ask a favor of you? Really a big favor? Please defeat my father, Hitmonchan. My father's training non-stop at the P1 Championship. If you beat him, he'll come to his senses and come home. Thank you so much for your help. I mean, I just beat the Hitmonchan. He didn't take it well. All right, well, where's the gym? Hey, bug boy. Belly bump. No. Over already? So she said. You. A wayward trainer? I better take advantage. Go for it. I've been taken advantage of. Sure. Healing up. All right, I assume you. Rough and tumble. Sure. Too rough. Fair enough. Fair enough. You can't handle my roughness. And finally, you. I've started a bug collection, want to see? No. My bugs! No! Not the bugs! Thing up here? Nope. Alright then. Nothing down there. This is your gym doll. This is the P1 Championship. You're only worthy of entering if you can beat the best, in ba uh, best me in battle, okay? You're quite the fighter. Eh, hey, well, you just suck. Can I go in then? The championship is underway. You can enter now. All right. Time to take on your daddy. Welcome to the Pokemon Number One Grand Prix Championship. You can only enter one Pokemon in the championship. You can use the computer in the corner to show you others. Just remember, you must use a Fighting type Pokemon to compete. I uh I can't do that because my Primeape is kind of shitty. He doesn't really fight well. Well, I I probably can't do that then because Primeape is again like Charmeleon. He doesn't listen to me. So I never leveled him up, which means he's not—he can't really compete with the others too well. About fourteen. Oh, the Grimer thing, I think. I think that's what this is. Power plant looks like. I just can't take anymore. It's the Diglet. Oh, it's the Diglet. They're destroying everything. Diglet, dig, Diglet, dig, trio, trio, trio. Diglet, dig. Yep. <laughs> Thanks to them, we can't finish building our dam. I hate Diglet. I hate them. Looks like we won't be able to accomplish our dream of building the great. Guy of a dam in these mountains. We've even created a special division for developing strategies to fight up Diglett. They're called Water Pokemon. We're calling for any able bodied trainer to who's traveling through the area to help us get rid of these Diglett. So you're a Pokemon trainer? Then please, if you're passing through Diglett's cave, help us by defeating as many Diglett as you can. If you do, I reward you at a wonderful prize. Maybe. I'm sorry, but I can't hear any Pokemon right now. The power's gone out and over the city. If something doesn't get done, I don't want to think well, what will happen to Pokemon. Maybe if you wanted the power plant, if maybe if you went to the power plant, you could find out what's happened there. I assume that's the big building right over here, next to the Diglett Dig Man. As I thought before. Power plant. Uh, item. Okay, hyper potion's good. I'll take that. I'll probably try that fighting thing out to see how tough it is. I can't assume it's too rough, because if the game doesn't really let you control Primeape, I don't think it's gonna let you. I don't think it's gonna spec too much out of it in Primeape. Item. But yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Grab that. Protect. Eh. Hey guys. The reason the power has gone out is because a giant smelly sludgy Pokemon is clogging the seawater. We need to get rid of it first if we're going to reactivate the uh, turbines. I know. Will you battle the Pokemon for us and get rid of it? Here it comes. Do something. Hey, Muck. My little friend. Muck was caught. Yay. I may use you, buddy. I like Muck. Okay, I took care of it. You did it. Now that Muck's gone, the power's working again. As a thanks, please take this. A magnet! Well, Pikachu's already got light ball though, so I don't really need a magnet. Thanks anyway? Alright, let's try this fighting thing now. Uh, who am I taking on first? Probably you. Remember, Chop and I are going to blow away the competition. Sure. 
Well, I guess I don't fight you. So you're thinking of entering the P1 Championship? You won't get far unless you've got a real tough fight in Pokemon on your side. I, uh... Do I gotta talk to you then, or...? So you have a fight type uh, 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 you have a fight type Pokemon. Let the contest begin. I don't think Primate is gonna really go far though. Your first opponent shall be last, probably, because Primate sucks. Yeah, he didn't listen to me at all, and he got his ass kicked. Like he 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 did, he did not attack a single time. That was a complete waste of time. Thank you, Pri thank you, Primate, for being literally useless. I appreciate it a lot. All right, so I beat them a chop at the Primate, and apparently he said he respects me now. So hopefully he'll actually listen to me now. I won't lose, watch and see. We'll see now. Yeah, okay, the, the Prime Ape actually listens now. He actually listens to your commands now. So you just gotta win once. Thank God for that. Round three, commence. Bring it on. I have trained for this moment for my entire life. It's destined to be- I'm destined to be the P1 champion. Sure. Yeah, right, my champ is down. Boom! But my destiny is gone, is kaput. I must bow to your skills. Team Rocket, begin the semi-final. Team Rocket, we can't wait for the chance to show you goody goody what a loser you are. We stole this Pokemon especially to win a championship belt. We're gonna be the winners around here, Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee lost. Like I knew it would. Now, ready? I give up. It's probably good you give up. Alright, we may have lost the fighting tournament, but you haven't heard the last of us. Oh, I, I know, I trust me, I know. Let the finals begin. Bring on the Hitmonchan. So you made it this part in the finals, huh? That's pretty impressive, but you won't get any further. Whatever you say. Bring on the Hitmonchan. Also, that's not what your sprite looks like. Alright, well I'm just gonna seismic toss, I guess. It's proved to be pretty powerful. Mute. And come crashing down. Not bad. I don't think the punch is gonna do too much to me. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent. Up, oh, and down. One more time. Watch it freeze me this time. Okay, good. And finish it. Oh, Hawk Punch. Finish it. Up and down. Fatality. Boom Shakalaka. I win. I gotta throw in the towel. Yeah, you do. I lost a worthy opponent. You deserve the P1 Championship, Ash. Now I can go be with my family and stop all this tough training until the next year. Congratulations for your victory in the P1 Grand Prix. Please accept this prize. And yeah, Black Belt. Alright. Thank you so much. Now my daddy can be with us as a family again. Ash, I was so impressed with the Prime Ape. I got a lot of na it's got a lot of na natural fighting talent. Why don't you let me train it for a while? I promise to turn it into a real P1 champion. Sure. Now select your primate to give it to me. Well, you can't give away the only Pokemon, but I guess I'm okay. Yeah, I got my Pokemon out. Now select your primate. Boop. All yours. Thanks, Ash. I'll turn primate into a real champ. You'll see. Yeah, if you say so. Bye, primate. Tears are welling up in its eyes, knowing that it has to say goodbye. Aww. Aww. Alright, let's go to Diglett Cave, shall we? Oh, train is up here, apparently. Hey. Were you called to help go to the Diglett, too? Yeah. What a drag! Eh. Hey, you! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Diglett. Okay, Elma Fudd. Out of the hunt. You're a cut, never mind. Okay, uh, I guess I'll fight the ground dude next. Hey, you. There are mountains all around here, but they won't... They won't be if this construction crew keeps blowing them to bits. Radio, Kaboom! Sure. I guess Diglett Cave time, or nope, this place. What is this? Uh... Oh, okay, it's a... Uh, it heals me. Good to know, good to know. Hey, I saw a bunch of Diglett carrying some plants and trees through this cave to this side. Why are they doing that? Huh? Who knows? Diglet dig, diglet dig. Why are you diglet? Okay, I just quickly ran through the cave. Okay, so the diglet should be up here, yeah? Hey, diglet. How you doing, diglets? Hmm, what's this random house doing here? Your lesson is just beginning. We have a special treat for you. A treat with an exciting new flavor. For the first time on TV, we're proud to present a new Pokemon. 
Oh, Arbok and uh, Weezing. I guess you evolved. That's right, you, you evolved in this saga. Arbok. Tarbuck. Well, I suppose I'll just let War Turtle do War Turtle things, and then I'll just bring out Pikachu if that's too much for him. Alright, there we go. And dead Arbok. Sweet. Bring out the Weezing. So let's switch to Pikachu, make it easy for easier myself. And here we go. Send it out. Now you die. Huzzah! And Thunderbolt. Boom! Dead Weezing? Dead Weezing. Now well, maybe, maybe two hits, actually. Or not. Or not. Oh, that's good. Team Rocket busted up again! You may have beaten our newly evolved Pokemon. We'll be back. We're blasting off again. Haiku! That's not a haiku, but still. Hey, Diglett. The dig it's a Diglett. They appear to be blowing the ground. This mountain range seems to be their backyard. Could all the forests in this world be beautiful gardens made by the Diglett like this one? If the damn construction were to continue, the entire forest would be destroyed. Okay, dude, you want to talk to me now? The Diglett have built a mountain garden here? Then if we were to complete the dam, the whole mountain forest would be completely covered with water. Nothing could live here. This project is cancelled. I won't build the dam. Thanks for your help. Please take this. Yeah, soft sink. I don't have a ground type Pokemon though, so. Alright, through the gate. Where are we going now? Oh, another, another uh, road thing. I think this one probably goes to Fuchsia. That'd be my guess. I assume that's where we gotta go now, right? We've been everywhere else. This feels like I'm going to Fuchsia. Down and to the right. Long ass tunnel, that's for sure. Alright, where am I? Route 9. Sounds like it could be Fuchsia. Hey. Prepare to face the power of poison, okay? Ach. Ach, indeed. Do I go this way, or do I cut the tree down? Hmm. Perplexing. When I came, uh, camp out in the woods, I bring my Pokemon to protect me. Good plan. Darn it. Darn it the heck. Alright, I guess I'm going this way first. I need to heal up, so... No, oh, cut that, get the item. What do we got? Great ball. I'll have Ultra Ball, so... Alright, what's this way? It's like a city, or... Vermilion City. Oh! Okay. Well, that's good to know. Back to Vermilion. Sweet. Well, that's how I get back here. So, we all going right, then. Uh, anything... I, I healed up, which is the important thing to me. Hold on, I've got to bug you. Go for it. Oh, bugger. Bugger indeed. Okay, what's up in here now? Uh, invisible walls, or... To enter the poison chamber and the master attack, the ninja must be turn south and go back. South and go back. South, back. Man, like, do I just, uh... South and- oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's- you just have to hit the statue in the mind. Good to know. Good to know. It's a Pokemon. Alright, it was just a Voltorb. Uh, where is the... The snow? Not that way. God damn it, I'm lost. Where the hell do I go in here? Ah, yeah, this way. Possible. There you go. Aha! Born in the darkness. Living in the darkness. Trust the fate of the ninja. I am Aya, the ninja warrior. Live internet informed me that a stupid looking person had entered the mansion. I won't let you leave the mansion without having a Pokemon battle. Okay, I want that. And now Venonat's dead. Boop. Grrr. The walls here may appear to be invisible, but if you touch them, their location will be revealed. That is a helpful hint for a worthy adversary, but you will need more than hints to defeat my brother in battle. Ninja, I thought you were his daughter. I gotta heal up poison. Alright, now where is Koga? Also, yeah, I could have sworn Aya was his daughter. Did they change that? For some reason? I don't know why? I don't think anybody really thought incest, did they? And again, it's sister didn't really change that, does it? There's no, there's literally no reason to change that from daughter to sister. Can I get to the platform anytime soon, or... Yep. Does not appear to be so. Is it not that way? No, 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 no. Any from the side here? Nope. Oh, I can go left. I don't think that really helps me, though. 
Somehow, someway, I get that in a platform somehow. Nope. Oh, aha. Bingo. My sister, I oh, yeah, still has a lot to learn. You'll not be permitted to leave this uh, venerable mansion unless you do battle with me. I am Koga, the Pokemon Master of Fuchsia Gym. The Soul Badge will be yours. If you defeat me, of course. Plan two. Let's do it. Okay, Mr. Scoff, let's do this. Venom off. God, I wish Charmander and Charmeleon would actually listen to me. Be so easy with that. Oh god, fuck. Damn you, Venom Mouth. Damn you. At least I still hit it. Boop. Not a lot, be back. Okay, kill War Turtle. Let's see if Pikachu can kill it. Hopefully Revenge killed it quickly. Boop. Not bad. What a Pokemon you got? I think Golbat, not mistaken. Oh, that's, that's a good match with Pikachu, at least. Zappy Zappy. I think that's one dead Golbat. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh, so close. Oh, you dick. I right, Pikachu killed itself. This quick attack and it. Boop. I win. GG. And level up. Yay. Oh, uh, Feather Dance. I'm good. Alright, Koga. Let's go. You've beaten me. The Soul Badge rightfully belongs to you. Yay! Well, I guess you could be Toxic, too. Now you have the Soul Badge. The fancy Pokemon rises. Take this, too. Toxic. Still within that TM lies Toxic. It's a secret technique dating back to some 400 years. Yes, yeah, secret my ass. Every Pokemon game ever has it. Alright, so let's head right of the gym then. Let's play a little game, huh? Crapped out. Nothing good from becoming some strange old man asking, and nothing but robe asking little boys to play a game. Well, I got my first evo full evolution here, it looks like. Come on out, Blastoise. I was hoping it'd be Charizard, but of course... I mean, Blastoise is still good. Not like Blastoise is a bad Pokemon. Boop. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Well, that's that. Okay, anybody else here? Anybody else wants some? Anything will be- I uh, can't go that way, alright. Uh, talk to you, you do nothing. Well, let's take Lucky Egg off Flash Toys. He doesn't really need it right now anymore. Okay, what's over here? Oh, it's the racing thing. You little sidewinder. He's good. No, he's great. Don't tell me you don't know the whole area's Pokemon Reserve. It's against the law to catch Pokemon here. Have you heard about the Big P Pokemon Ranch owned by the Lambert family? Here's the Big P Ranch, and I'm Laura Lambert. We're having a big race tomorrow to see who has the best Pokemon, and I'm entering my ponytail. Laura! I don't want this Pokemon race tomorrow. Just give it a lose, Laura. If you say so. Well then. I think I'm gonna leave off here, because I've been recording long enough today. So thank you all for watching, thank you for liking and subscribing if you did. Not just like watching the episode, and I appreciate you watching. When we come back tomorrow, we take part in the great race. Till then, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, Zs.